So lastly now, here comes the meat. We, look, we have talked all of this deep knowledge. We have had all of this deep insight into the nature of things. Are we just going to have knowledge for knowledge's sake? That's a sin. Once you enlighten, then you have to act according to the light. Now, recently, we were in Harlem. We spoke at the Apollo Theater. After speaking there, I was told almost before I left, yeah, almost before I left the area, I was told, uh, you're still going to reproduce the tape. You can't reproduce it if you put Apollo on it. You can't have Apollo. can't put Apollo on it. I said, what? I said, what is this? I said, well, you mean to tell me we speak at a place and we can't even say where we spoke? <laughs> said, no. They say you can't use Apollo. So I said, oh, that can't be true. I said, <laughs> so they finally went back and forth. And back, finally came to me at a couple of weeks later and said, well, uh, they, the ones that uh, le gave, made, got the lease, they failed to read everything carefully. They can't use the name Apollo. I said, okay, we use the name Harlem. They say I spoke in Harlem. Good enough. Then they get word that the owner, this ain't me talking, I'm just telling you what they told me. The owner is a Jew. And the owner says, you can use the word Apollo for $15,000. <laughs> I want to, I didn't say nothing, but I want to say, tell him we will buy the Apollo for $15,000. <laughs> now, just think about this. This, this, is, this is the main part of my message. This is why I wanted you together. This message is for the community, all of us, it's for sisters and brothers equally. You th all think about this. And don't forget, reread what I've told, what I've given you today. Up to the point where we are now, the closing of this. We had no opportunity to be included in this country's productive life until we showed that we were going to build our own productive life. Then they decided with pressure coming from whites and others and us that they were going to include us in their productive life. We had an African American or uh, black baseball authority, authority not just responsibility, authority, huh? It was an established authority over black players in baseball. And they were making plenty of money off of blacks who were just so excited about seeing them play. They accepted us into the leagues, the National League, the American League, accepted us into the great leagues and we gave up that. Now, where's the money that we were making off of baseball that was coming to us? They got it. Now, I'll name one or two other things, but just, just look right there. What happened? Now, look in music. Just think of all the great musicians that we've had. And think of the vocalists, all the great vocalists we've had. The great dancers. Bill Robinson, Bojangles. Going all the way back to him, who got so popular right there in Harlem. Hmm. Got so popular, he, all, he revolutionized tap dancing for America. Right? Yes. 
And he danced at the Apollo Theater, I think. I'm pretty sure. They say Apollo Theater, he danced there. And now the Apollo Theater, which was a landmark for African-American entertainment, is gone a Jew owns it. Do you think any other people would allow other people to harvest their resources and command their life? That's what they're doing. They are harvesting our resources and commanding our life for their advantages. Would that happen to any other people but us? No. And not another people on this planet Earth that will permit that. Not even the American Indian. No. No, you come and steal something from my American Indian. He going to say, you'll give it back or we, 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 we take scalp. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to lock him up on a reservation or something. You have to you have to put him in prison to keep from him doing what he wants to do. But we, we can be free. Freer than birds. I started saying free as a bird. We're freer than birds. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take everything we got and we don't complain. Now, if that ain't the sacrificial lamb, tell me what is. Sacrificial lamb. Cut my throat. I won't make a sound. <laughs> won't even say bad. <laughs> Take my skin, make coats out of my wool, do what you want, eat my flesh. I won't even say bad. <laughs> so don't think of Jesus anymore as a sacrificial lamb. That's a story. The reality is you. African-American people made the sacrificial lamb of the world. Sold, exploited, exploited, and exploited to enrich the treasures of this world. Here we are, don't have anything as an establishment. If I become a great singer, I got to go to the Jews for a stage. That's a shame. We can't have this anymore. Look, we thinking that this religion is just fasting and praying and waiting on the next Eve. This religion is responsibility for Muslim community life. That's what this religion is. Plain as day, this re the religion is responsibility for a Muslim community life. Now we know that the average one of you all can't do much more than just show your moral support, your spiritual support, and to bring your physical, physical presence here to let us know you're with us. When those men in the language of the Bible, when those men told David when he was facing the great challenges and the great armies, they said to him, you are flesh of our flesh and bone of our bone. When that, they said that to him, it was, it was only a very few that he could really count on for some actual work being done. But in spirit, they all were with him. And that's all we need from you all. We need all of you all to be in, in spirit supportive of what we want to do. Be in spirit supportive. And to bring your presence to help uh, strengthen the spirit of our community. Your presence, your physical presence helps strengthen the spirit of our community. And learn as much as you can. And as the people were told in the Bible, when the God rained down manna and quail for them, they were told to go out and get the manna before the sun come up. Before when the sun come up, it would be disappear. So they said, go out and each person 
together as much as he can take into his own private home. Well, that's a science. What it means is, I'll give it to you in a practical, very practical way now in plain language. What you hear from Imam Wadifuddin Muhammad, take as much of it as you can manage. Take it into your own private mind. Take it back to your own home and share it with your family as much as you can manage. But do it before the sun comes up. That means before you start thinking something else. Before, while you got this on your mind, do it. Don't wait until you go to bed in the morning you got some other things on your mind. That's the light of those things then will just do away, will melt away, or dissolve away what we are talking about right now. So before you take chances on losing it in the, in the interest, under the interest and influence that will come on you tomorrow when you wake up, do it tonight. Go home and die with whatever you've digested, safely and comfortably, safely and comfortably. Take that home and share it with your loved ones that you can talk to. And be, be as considerate of their capacity to understand as I am of your capacity to understand. Give them no more than what you think they can handle. You think they can't handle it? Don't give it to them. <laughs> and then the community will begin to register the importance of what I'm giving you all. See, if you just hear it and don't work with it, you hear it and don't share it with others, how the community will ever register the importance of it? We used to be excited because um, our parents, our older brothers and sisters, when they came came home from the, from, the, from the hearing the teaching, they'd come in there and share it with us. So the minister says something says. They share it with us. But you have to first find it interesting. If you don't find it interesting, you're not going to even have it in your own mind. I guess that's what it means that some grain fell upon stony ground. Some upon a rock, and the rain came down and washed the seas off. They were lost. Yes.